Hi everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome and welcome back to Angela's Fashion Mix. I hope you all had a fantastic day and thanks for coming. If you are new, welcome to the channel. This is where I talk about fashion and how to enjoy it as well as those pieces that we bring home and put in our wardrobes. So that's what this channel is primarily about, periodically a DIY and sometimes a little bit of lifestyle. In today's video, I am sharing a piece that I got in from a company called Nunet. They are on Amazon and they reached out and asked if I would review this product as it is a storage unit. So as you'll see in the video, it comes in a few different compartments. You can select different compartments to build kind of your own storage units. But for what I'm showing you today, there are four pieces to it and I'll be sharing what that is about. You'll be able to see how I put it together. And the reason I want to bring it is because it is storage. A lot of times we're just looking for some additional storage for a variety of things, not necessarily clothing, but in just having some additional storage, I would get, thought I would give this a try. So I'm pleased with how it turned out. It's very easy to assemble and I thought that was a plus. But the other part of it is that the pieces are stackable and you can decide where in the unit setup you want those pieces to go. After that, I'll be sharing a denim jacket that I DIY'd some embellishments on. I would suspect that a few of you might be willing to try that. Denim jackets, as we know, are so very versatile throughout the year. And sometimes we just want a little bit of something different. So a few months ago, I was wearing a denim jacket and I was trying to coordinate it with something and I needed to have something a little bit different. I wanted it to look different than my other sparkle jacket that you all have seen with the, the distress look with the fringe. So I wanted something that was a bit different from that. And in this DIY, I will be showing you what I did and how I came up with the jacket idea. So let's see how this storage unit comes together. New Vending is a small business located in the U.S. In any case, if the customer has a missing part or something that was damaged when they are removing the furniture from the containers, they can go to the company for help. There is a one-year warranty and a lifetime support available. For this particular configuration, it comes with a three-unit set. Two of the units are 19 gallons each and one of the units is 38 gallons and that particular compartment is about 2.3 feet high compared to some others at about eight and a half gallon boxes. The 38 gallon unit has a wardrobe stick which can be used to hang pants and it comes with four hangers, four or five hangers and the hangers you will see those here included. They are a plastic hanger as well. This is a stackable unit with a weight capacity of about 110 pounds. Other storages could collapse or age with heavy weight over time. But this feels really durable. It also comes with wheels. I did not include the wheels as where I'm going to put this. It will be stationary and it will be on carpet. So I did not include the wheels, but they are easy to snap onto the bottom of the container. This is very easy to assemble. As you see, it folds open and the pieces interlock into each other. There are no tools involved. I absolutely love that. And this took about 10, maybe 12, 15 minutes or so to assemble fully finished. And I don't know that anything could be any easier to assemble. And for how solid it feels after it was constructed, I think that it would be a durable kind of storage unit. So as you can see this piece here, it would come with the top. If you wanted to use this independently, you certainly could do that. I like that the door is open to the front. That's nice. So I like it. I like it a lot. And for the versatility and for what I'm going to use it for, I think this is going to definitely serve the purpose that I selected it for. So take a look at new net and see if there are any of their units are going to work for you. I think the storage capacity is wonderful. And for these particular hangers, they are smaller, like child size hangers, I would think. 
The rod is a metal rod um, that seemed pretty stable and durable. Um, so I think this would be a great fit for with these hangers if you needed to hang scarves or if you wanted to hang jewelry, um, things like that, or maybe even tank tops or camisoles. I think for this particular size hanger, that would be appropriate for that. Um, but there may be some other uses that, of course, you can find for it. So that's my take on this particular storage unit. Easy assembly. And I was pretty amazed at how well this coordinates with my stairs. Now, this is not where this piece is going to go, but it certainly could fit right in. Some additional storage it doesn't have to go into your closet you can go wherever you want and have space where you need some additional storage or however you choose to let this piece function so take a look at new net so for my DIY so I've had this jacket for quite a while and it originally had grommets on it the grommets were brass and over time the grommets kind of pulled into the fabric and created a hole around the grommet in a couple of spaces. So instead of trying to replace the grommets, I took the grommets off. There were, I think, five of them in the brass color. And there was also grommets on what was a longer hem here on the sleeve. This was not always a three-quarter hem. So I decided because the jacket itself was still good, I didn't want to totally eliminate it. I didn't want to get rid of it at all. I was going through my drawer of those things that I recommend that you all hold on to. Now, we can't hold on to all the pieces of broken jewelry that we have, but over time, I've acquired some pieces, and for specific reasons, I will hold on to some. And... This is what I came up with, with regard to embellishing this denim jacket. So we have some sparkle. We have, here was, I think this was a part of an, a, a, a necklace. I think this was possibly part of 
a bracelet. And these pieces came from a variety of different things that no longer were in their original form. So I just kind of started to looking at how I could possibly use them. And this is how I decided to embellish this jacket. These are actually silver buttons. And I've worn it several times. I don't know that you've actually seen it, but you know, if on a cooler day, I've actually decided to wear it. So that is what that is. So if you have some pieces that you want to hold on to, just kind of want to repurpose them a little bit, maybe give a, new, a little new life to them, then maybe consider doing something like this. So I've actually got, as you know, a few black dresses. I'm actually processing, embellishing one of those dresses. And when I do, I'll show it to you. Uh, it's not going to be this per se, but it is going to be something very similar. So I will definitely show that to you when I take on that DIY. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe, like, and share. I always appreciate that. And I thank you for your time here. And this coming Tuesday will be my next live sale right here on YouTube at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everyone have a fantastic start to your week. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.